In a previous video, we installed Viral 1.5.x, and in this video, we're going to fire it back up, and we are going to make sure that, <clears throat> excuse me, it is properly activated. So I will select my viral image there inside of the VM Workstation player, and we'll of course choose Launch to get it started. Notice it is booting into Ubuntu, which is great. And as soon as this boot process is done, remember it's going to report to us the IP address that we can use to connect to it for management purposes. So there we go, it's fully booted. Notice we really don't even have to log in at this point because it's giving us the IP address that we need to manage it using the user workspace manager, which is how we're gonna activate it. So in my case, it's 192.168.171. So let's fire up a web browser and connect to that address. I don't think I've ever successfully tested the Firefox browser against this product. So let me fire up Firefox and we'll test that together. Notice 192.168.171 that I got from the viral installation is the IP address that I'm gonna do there. The username here is UWM admin and the password is password lowercase if you went with the default suggestions. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll save that for future logins and look at this, just as we would expect, we are failing the licensing status check and that means we're really not activated and that's what this video is all about, right? So we're going to come under viral server right here. And what we're looking for is salt configuration and status. So if we go into this area, this is where we're going to set up the proper licensing of this product. And by the way, at this point, it does look like Firefox is going to function just fine with Cisco's viral. So that's a good uh, news piece for all of you Firefox fans out there. All right, so notice the communications with the viral server that's running in the background can take a little bit of time here, just be patient. This is not indicative of how well your simulations will run. So what we need to do in here is take this bogus information that's entered and reset it. So we're gonna choose reset keys and ID as the first step. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to enter in our IP address, make sure that we have the correct region set for our salt masters that are gonna be checked in with for the registration and actually license verification process. So I could click US here to make sure, in my case, it's the US uh, servers. We're gonna leave this to EFT pub, and then we are going to paste in our key information that we received from Cisco Systems. Notice the way in which you do that now is just to hit this load config file button and go to the .pem file that you downloaded for your licensing. So this is very simple to do. I'm going to complete this information here quickly for myself and then click that load config file button and show you the results. So when you have all the appropriate information input there on that simple screen, you're gonna hit the reset button. It's gonna take about 30 seconds or so, and then you'll get this salt status screen, and you should see all these green happy, happy messages, and you'll notice that the date is set to your last successful contact of the salt servers, and what's cool is there's seven days before it has to contact them again. So if you needed to work offline for a few days and not contact the SALT status servers, you'd be just fine. So you can work offline uh, during that duration of time. Notice also we're allowed 20 nodes with the licensing that I have in place here. So this is awesome, we are fully activated. My next step is gonna to be to start building simulations in Viral. To do that, we're gonna go over to the viral server area and we're gonna to go to download and you are gonna be downloading the tool that you use to create simulations and that's called the VM Maestro tool. 
notice that I would be looking for the appropriate version for my operating system. So if I was on a Mac, it would be this DMG download right here, but I'm on Windows in this example, so I'm going to be downloading the 64-bit setup executable for VM Maestro in my case. So we download this and install it and start using Cisco Viral. So in this video, we you know picked up from where we left off on the install, specifically making sure Viral is properly activated. Thanks for watching.